Dear brothers and sisters, today our world is the world of competition and discouragement. Everything must be success, must be number one. But in fact, there is no number one except God. Many people live in a world without friends. They live in depression and are overburdened. This kind of world is not according to God's will. Our God is a God of invitation and generosity. Jesus says in today's gospel, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. We can find this similar invitation in other parts of the gospel. Jesus says, come to me, come and eat, come and drink, come and I will satisfy you. Our God is a God who likes to invite us. He invites the first apostles, come and follow me. Or when John's disciples want to follow him and ask where does he live, Jesus says, come and see. My brothers and sisters, do you notice that one of the banner outside the church, there is one old banner there with the writings, all are welcome to pray, decide. I'm sure many people have read the writings and come to our church either to pray or even join into our Catholic Church. My brothers and sisters and their children, one day there were two girls who were sitting outside our secretary office. I thought they were waiting for their parents after the catechism class. I greeted them and asked, Who are you waiting for? In the beginning, they didn't say anything but just smiling at me. Then I asked them again, Are you waiting for your parents? One of the girls said, No, we ran away from home. I was surprised and asked why. Then she said, Because my parents want to kill me. In my wondering, I asked them why they come to our church and surprisingly another girl says, we saw the banner, all are welcome. That is why we come here. My brothers and sisters, to make the story short, their parents came to our church with some police officers and after the police questioned them, they went back home. What I want to say that these two girls came to our church because they felt the welcoming atmosphere here. They felt peace to be here and safe from danger. Dear brothers and sisters, in our relationship with God, we also invited God want to welcome us. Come to me, all who have worked hard. Come to me, all who are burdened. I will help you. I will refresh you. There are two sacraments that uh, God uh, show that God invite us. The first sacrament is the sacrament of the Eucharist. When we are hungry and thirsty spiritually, Jesus says, come and eat or come and drink. In the Eucharist, Jesus does not only say, this is my body, but he also says, eat it. He does not only say, this is my blood, but he also says, drink it. It means that 
he does not only show us his body and blood, he wants us to eat and drink his body and blood. He wants to fulfill our spiritual hunger. He wants to be united with us. And when Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are of a burden, and I will give you rest. He refers to the sacrament of reconciliation. For some people, it is impossible to believe that they can ever be forgiven for abortion, adultery, murder, leaving the church, etc. That is why many people don't want to go for confession. Let us look at Jesus on the cross and ask him, what is the meaning of his death? If we listen with our heart, we will hear Jesus telling us that his love is greater than any of our sins. In his blood, they are all washed away. Jesus on the cross forgive all of our sins because his love has no limit. When we go for confession, our sins are forgiven and our burden light. Then Jesus says, Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Today, violence is more popular than gentleness. Some people are so cruel, rude, like to shout, kick things, throw everything, and even strike one another. How different from what Jesus teaches us today. The prophet Isaiah foretold the gentleness of Jesus when he said, He will not shout or raise his voice or make loud speeches in the streets. A beautiful example of the gentleness of Jesus is the way he handled the case of the woman called, caught in adultery. Jesus was gentle, not only with the woman, but also with her accusers. Jesus didn't shout and rave. He didn't scream and yell. He simply bent down, bent over gently, and wrote in the sand with his finger. So my brothers and sisters, let us be gentle as God is gentle. Let us forgive one another because God has forgiven us. And let us be generous in loving and forgiving. Amen.